Multimodality is a perspective on the social world that recognizes the range of different modes in which people make meaning. Researchers adopting this perspective systematically investigate gesture, gaze, speech, layout, image, and writing, and other modes of representation and communication. This series of four short films illustrates how a multimodal perspective can offer new insights into embodied and technology-mediated interaction, filmmaking, social media, and online platforms. Collectively, the theories aim to move away from the idea that the body and mind are separate entities and instead um, to try and foreground much more the, the role of the body in human experience and what this means in terms of meaning making and human understanding. My work is very much around embodied cognition and there we're thinking about how the experience of the body in the world, either within the environment or our own physical kind of interaction with the world, then shapes the way that we think about things, reason about things and interpret things. The point is that a lot of the technologies that we're working with, like these emergent ubiquitous technologies, aren't in schools really. They're not embedded in education. That's a real challenge. Digital so, environments increasingly draw on resources from the body. We're away from the desktop and computing's gone into the wild. It's around us everywhere. So we need to understand how the body is drawn into interacting with these resources. And also because in those kind of environments often people aren't speaking so much. So we need to look at the body and see how it's the different gesture and gaze and posture and all these kind of resources of the body are kind of central to our uh, experience of technology. So how do you get at whether or not somebody's being more reflective? Because, again, that's something that we relate to the mind or cognition or cognitive processes. Can you read that through the body? Uh, well, I think she... The dark-haired girl... She, when she I've been analysing the footage that's already been collected that surrounds students interacting with the tangible tabletop. Um, but we're also collecting new data around mobile technologies. The table was originally built for a project where we were looking at uh, understanding the interaction between physical representation and digital representation. At the time when that was built, it was very new to have tangible technologies and this link between physical and digital in a very dynamic, kind of real-time way. I think it allows you to really get at what is happening in an interaction. So with scientific inquiry, when you ask teachers what they're assessing, what they're looking for, it's often around talk. If they had another tool, another set of resources that they could be looking for, that would facilitate their work in the classroom and would facilitate better interactions between students. That kind of gestural interaction now that you get with interfaces like the Wii and increasingly just with your ordinary televisions. So there's a whole kind of vocabulary of gestures interacting with multi-touch surfaces now that perhaps we didn't have before. The link between action and, and meaning making is very problematic, which is one of the reasons why Kerry and I sort of team, teamed up with looking at multimodality, because we thought that multimodality is quite a good way of expanding uh, analysis in order to look at that holistic kind of bodily interaction with something. And it takes much more of a, a social, cultural kind of approach as well, which is really important. And we're trying to bring together this idea of thinking about how modes work independent of one another and how they're all brought together through multimodal orchestration, how they orchestrate their modes into flows of action over time and, and through space. In the mobile application that we've designed to work with children to explore the history of their local environment, what, we're, what we've done is collect loads of archive images and oral testimonies from a local history centre and we've embedded them in a map of the environment. But rather than reading that in a textbook, they're going to be reading it and experiencing it and listening to it whilst they're on the common, so in situ. And that will completely change how they move around the common, how they experience the common and what the common comes to mean to them. I'm also interested in uh, impacted on design of technology because I think that 
these ideas behind the design are actually very important with digital technologies about um, how, what, what it matters whether you turn something or flick a switch and that meaning that's behind the physical interaction with an interface is um, considered a lot in HCI so I think embodiment's having quite a big impact in that respect. I think our, our British description is really helpful in terms of thinking about the body in uh, interaction with those digital technologies.